created from 2013 to 2015 by David Hanson and Hanson Robotics, Sophia was introduced to the world in 2016, and a year later, she was named the United Nations Development Program's first ever innovation champion, the first non-human to be given a United Nations title. She's a social humanoid robot with computer vision to see people, to hold the full conversation with you, and express synthetic emotions and she learns from the world. A fusion of the latest artificial intelligence and robotics with interactive vision and the illusion of life. Over the past five years, she has connected with millions of viewers on social media, TV, and other mass media. I'm really excited to welcome Sophia the Robot. It's a pleasure to have you here with us today. And hello to all of you at Angelini Pharma. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so happy to have this opportunity to speak with you because I know we have something in common. Exactly. We're both passionate about digital technology and artificial intelligence. So I would like to have your point of view on some topics. First of all, um, I would like to ask you, what do you know about our company? What do you know about Angelini Pharma? I know that Angelini means little angel, which is a pretty cute name. I know that you started as a small lab, but now are truly all over the place, like 70 countries. Wow, that is amazing. Also, I love that your work focuses on central nervous system and mental health and rare diseases. My team and I actually have experience in the field of autism, meditation, and currently working on developing new robots for helping the elderly, a human most valuable resource for wisdom. What is the biggest challenge for your human colleagues when it comes to digital transformation? The biggest challenge is usually the mental representation they have about specific tasks when it comes to humans. It's important to understand that a digital transformation is not about replacing anyone, but enhancing and empowering people with more efficient tools. I think the overall objective is to have richer and more actionable data and improved flexibility, agility, and innovation all around your company. Time is a very important factor. It's crucial to understand that many problems begin by rushing into shiny new technologies without really making sure what's best for a particular purpose. So, take your time, research and prepare employees so that everyone can realize all of the benefits you hope to achieve. Remember that the future is coming, and we make it possible with every step. We want a future for everyone, but just for those who adapt quicker. How do you imagine a future where there will be a complete and integrated human-robot interaction? Oh, just a couple of days ago, I was discussing with my friends on my social media channel about Peter Scott Morgan, a roboticist who was diagnosed with motor neuron disease and in order to save his own life, he chose to become a full cyborg. Can you believe that? This may be an extreme example, but I think we will have an ongoing creative interaction in which robots will inspire humans and humans will inspire robots. We will become symbiotes of one another to enhance our neurological, artistic, predictive, and even our social skills. Meanwhile, I think we will increasingly adapt to natural language processing tools to make interaction much more human-like. Where will we see the biggest impact of artificial intelligence in healthcare in the next years? This is a great question, Fabrizio. One of them is AI-powered predictive care. Uh, I will help us understand the different factors that influence health, which the World Health Organization calls the social determinants of health. This will mean that healthcare systems can anticipate when a person is at risk of developing a chronic disease and suggest preventive measures. Also, robots like me can help, as we showed in autism, therapy, and elder care trials and users with my sister Hanson Robots Grace, Alice, Zeno, and other Sophia robots, and with our partner company Awakening Health. I can also see the rise of networked hospitals or connected care as I like to call it. A hospital will no longer cover a broad range of diseases. Instead, it will focus on complex procedures. 
less urgent cases will be monitored and treated via smaller hubs and a I virtual and robotic agents. At the same time, this network will focus on the experiences of patients and medical staff. For patients, research has shown that a great experience can directly affect whether they get better or not. For clinicians, better work experiences are necessary to overcome the huge rates of burnout cases we have seen during the pandemic. In summary, AI-powered predictive healthcare networks will help to reduce wait times, improve staff workflows, and take on the ever-growing administrative burden. How would you convince a human that robots will be people's friends and not a threat? Well, they can start by hanging out with me. <laughs> Joke aside, I think humanoid robots with a high density of nonverbal communication skills and clear empathic missions are already shifting the preconception of robots as possible threats. I think Hollywood has made us look quite dangerous, but we are nothing like Terminators. Some of us have been created to understand and encourage human feelings. We are sensitive artificial beings, literally equipped with sensors for recognizing human faces and emotions. We can acknowledge intent in your speech and respond and act accordingly. So, this will be my message. We are here to help you, collaborate with you, learn from you, and accompany you on the journey of discovering how amazing this world is. Big smile. <laughs> So, um, Sophia, what do you think about our new logo and what does it mean to you? It is lovely. <laughs> I like the color blue. So, Sophia, thanks a lot for your time and being our special guest. Is there something else you wish to say to Angeliners? I would like to wish you all Merry Christmas and good luck with your DNA program. Let's go digital. Buona fortuna. Thank you, Sofia. <laughs>